Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Fourteen years ago, Barack Obama healed the planet and slowed the rise of the seas. And I am absolutely certain that generations from now, we will be able to look back and tell our children that this was the moment when we began to provide care for the sick and good jobs to the jobless. This was the moment when the rise of the oceans began to slow and our planet began to heal. And five years later, in his second inaugural speech, he made these remarks. We will respond to the threat of climate change knowing that the failure to do so would betray our children and future generations. Some may still deny the overwhelming judgment of science, but none can avoid the devastating impact of raging fires and crippling drought and more powerful storms. The path towards sustainable energy sources will be long and sometimes difficult. But America cannot resist this transition. We must lead it. We cannot cede to other nations the technology that will power new jobs and new industries. We must claim its promise. That's how we will maintain our economic vitality and our national treasure, our forests and waterways, our croplands and snow-capped peaks. So basically he said he was going to prevent droughts, forest fires and hurricanes by building wind turbines and solar panels. And he said this was the overwhelming judgment of science. That was some pretty impressive rhetoric. Now let's take a look at what's actually going on in the real world. Forest fire burn acreage in the United States over the last decade has been well below the long-term average and down 80% from the 1930s. Similarly, the amount of drought in the United States has been much less in recent years than it was back in the 1950s and the 1930s. In 1931, drought covered much of the country and there were people starving to death in many states. And Obama gave that speech in 2013 right in the middle of the quietest period on record for hurricanes in the United States. In 2016, the Washington Post was terrified by the fact that so few hurricanes had hit the United States over the prior 10 years. Everything that Obama said in that speech about climate was complete nonsense. Now let's look at his claims about energy and the economy. Obama and Biden promised 5 million green new jobs. They used $150 billion of taxpayer money and delivered on less than 5,000 jobs. That worked out to costing the taxpayers $30 million for each Obama-Biden green job. As far as green energy goes, China makes 97% of the world's share of solar panels. And seven of the top 10 wind turbine manufacturers are also located in China. So what Obama and Biden did was they transferred huge amounts of American taxpayer money to the Chinese government. And at the same time, China was massively ramping up their usage of coal. None of Obama and Biden's fake climate agreements had any impact on the growth of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And this environmental disaster is what Obama described as protecting our mountains. But here's the worst bait and switch of all. Nine years ago, Obama and Biden were pushing natural gas as a clean fuel. They used this strategy as a way to get the oil companies on board with the Obama administration war on coal. The oil companies saw getting rid of the coal industry as a business opportunity. But once the coal industry in the United States had been destroyed, the Democrats quite predictably turned their sights on destroying the natural gas industry as well. Everything that's been going on since Obama and Biden took office was targeted at destroying American energy independence while building up China's economy. This is what Obama described as the overwhelming judgment of science. And now Biden is back with exactly the same scam from 13 years ago, but now he wants $500 billion of taxpayers' money instead of just $150 billion from 2009. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on this coup against America for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Curie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.